Today I am going to explain the Zeppelin Wars Iceberg, if you haven't played Zeppelin Wars at least once then I don't recommend you watch this video as you probably won't understand anything. Layer 1. Zeppelin Wars is a remastered version of Zeppelin Battle. Zeppelin Battle is a classic 2008 Roblox game where the Ohio Air Patrol and the pirates are battling each other in small Zeppelins. The game started being broken so 12 years later the game was remastered by IOI Killer 101, but with much bigger Zeppelins and more features. Turtle Isle. Turtle Isle is the name of the small island located in the center of the map. On the island there are two signs, one reading going up, the other reading Turtle Isle. There is also a palm tree with red fruit, and two uninflated hot air balloons. There are two team colored balloons on Turtle Isle that take players upwards to about 180 studs before deflating and falling back to the ground. The entire hull of a Zeppelin can detach from its supports. If you manage to destroy all of the net corners that keep the Zeppelin stable then the entire hull will fall off. Zeppelin Wars is based in World War I. Zeppelins were used in World War I by Germany armed forces. They stopped being manufactured as they were easy to take down. Lots of people in the Zeppelin Wars community acknowledge this fact. Suicide tactic. In order to do this you need to have a fuse bomb. After you fuse the bomb, stay at the spot you want to bomb while trying to stay away from your enemies and let the bomb go off in your hands. Although you can drop the bomb to explode away from you without killing you, it's seen a lot when people fuse the bomb while in a plane that's coming towards the Zeppelin. Layer 2. Mobile Missile. The mobile missile, also known as the V-1 rocket or V-1 flying bomb, is a cruise missile unobtainable in normal gameplay. The missile can only be spawned by IOI killer and some trusted admins. It has plane-esque wings and a tail, as well as a pulse jet engine and a seat for a pilot on top. With a very high damage, speed, and large blast radius, the mobile missile is capable of carving holes through zeppelins, as well as one-shot practically anything, ranging from planes on the ground to fuel tanks, ammo boxes, and players. The downside of the bomb is that it requires a pilot to fly and crash into their desired target, killing the player controlling it by the explosion. The Crimson Sky The Crimson Sky also called Crimson Skies is a 2000 game that inspired Zeppelin Battle. The Warhead The Warhead is an explosive only available to admins. When detonated, it plays a loud explosion sound effect and turns the screen white for a few seconds, and leaves a yellow-orange fireball. It also has extreme knockback and damage, in addition to being able to destroy more than half of the Zeppelin. When being planted it uses a yellow meter instead of the normal red one. This is basically a nuke. California Republic Air Fleet California Republic Air Fleet is a well-known Zeppelin Wars air fleet, that's pretty much it. Killing the captain in raid makes the Zeppelin go slower. If you get in the captain's room in raid, you can kill the captain and it will make the Zeppelin go way slower, I'm not sure if it entirely stops though. Crowbar. The crowbar is an exclusive melee awarded to players that played the game in its pre-alpha stage. It is a skin for the trench mace that takes the form of a generic crowbar, with a red body and metal prying ends. Only players using the crew class can use it. The Assault Blimp. The Assault Blimp, also known as the Mini Zeppelin, is a Zeppelin variant featured in a game night. It is a blimp about one-third the size of a normal Zeppelin. Currently, these can only be spawned by developers. Gold Plane. The Gold Plane or the God Plane is a light plane used mainly by Locular 101. It can be considered the strongest plane in-game, as it boasts infinite ammo, bombs, health, and fuel, as well as being quite fast. It also creates explosions when it crashes into something. Layer 3. Impact Bomb. The Impact Bomb was an explosive for the pilot class, tested on November 19, 2020. It takes the appearance of a naval mine with a fuse on top of it. It is unlocked at level 30. On the 0.55 update, it was archived and replaced with the fuse bomb. Missin. The missin is a primary weapon for crew introduced in the 0.60 update. It is a Russian bolt action rifle with wooden furniture. The rifle can be bought in the market at level 12 for 48 GP or 96 Robux. 
It is considered one of the best rifle in Zeppelin Wars. Molotov Cocktail The Molotov Cocktail is a throwable weapon currently exclusive to admins. It is a dark red glass bottle of flaming liquid. The Molotov is used primarily, and possibly only, to cause large fires on a Zeppelin. It is incendiary, and can also set airplanes, parts and ammo boxes on fire. Longsword The longsword is an admin exclusive melee weapon. It is a generic longsword with a steel blade and cross guard, and a long black hilt. The longsword kills instantly, assumed to have 100 plus damage, and can hit multiple enemies at a time. The longsword has medium range, with attacks involving large sweeping motions that move from one arc to the other. It also gives the user a walk speed of 20, allowing for quick sweeping of the enemy team with its sweeping attacks. Stormer the Stormer is a currently unused SMG that is meant to be a primary pilot class weapon. It was originally meant to be the second SMG to be introduced along with the Thompson, but due to balancing issues, and the high concerns of the developers, it is currently unreleased. It is currently only usable through admin commands. Christmas Rush Christmas Rush is a seasonal game mode added in the Christmas update. The objective is to take down the other team's Zeppelin or take out as many presents as possible, on the Zeppelin itself, before the time ends. It was planned to be taken out of rotation on January 8, 2021, and as of the 9th, is no longer a selectable game mode. The whole Zeppelin is pretty much Christmas themed. Doom Hammer The Doom Hammer is an unobtainable melee. It is a red, fiery ban hammer that flings anything and everything it touches, when swung, and is exclusive to those with admin permissions. It is given to regular players on game nights. The double barrel shotgun is the same in Zeppelin Wars and Zeppelin Battle. This refers that the double barrel shotgun is in both games. But of course the one in Zeppelin Battle looks outdated. Layer 4, the Saber. The Saber is a developer-only vehicle. It is based off the Sabre from Halo, the Falcon. The Falcon is a developer vehicle only. It is based off the Falcon from Halo, Ninem. The Ninem is a primary weapon for pilots. It is a skin of the stock pistol, styled near identically to the one found in Merkur Warrior's Zeppelin Battle game. It is part of the Retro Pack, which could be bought for 100 GP. However, it is no longer for sale as of April 1st. A simple weapon, meant mostly for nostalgia, Electro Gun. The Electro Gun is a special case vintage pistol that electromagnetically fires rounds. It is unobtainable and is an exclusive weapon. This weapon has a special feature which makes it deal more damage to planes, think of it as a laser. Flag Weapon. The Flag is a melee weapon for the crew class as a Veterans Day exclusive. It is the flag of the United States of America. In order to obtain it, a player must click on the Veterans Memorial on Turtle Isle to pay their respects. The Retro Pack The Retro Pack was a pack introduced in version 0.60 and could be bought with 100 GP. It has since been removed. It consisted of the following items. Retro Launcher Retro Shotgun Retro Bomb Retro Welder Retro Pistol Howl Guard The Howl Guard is an unobtainable staff only weapon. It is based off the modern PGM hk 2 topped with a halberd blade and spike. The HAL guard has range estimated between 500 and 1000. It has unlimited reserve ammunition, but a magazine of 10 rounds. Spectral Mop The Spectral Mop is a melee weapon for the crew class, added in the 0.54B update. It is a mop reskin exclusive to the active members of the debug team, featuring a metal rod that emits a bright, team-colored plasma where a mop head would normally exist. The spectral mop is essentially the same as the mop but has a different skin, heavy gunship. The heavy gunship is the largest plane in-game. It is a twin-engine biplane with long wings and an extended fuselage. The heavy gunship serves basically as a player-controlled boss. It has 12,000 health, making it difficult for even a full man Zeppelin to take it down. It also has infinite ammo for its armaments, onboard flak cannons and a quad torpedo launcher. It also has infinite fuel. The heavy gunship can only be spawned by IOI Killer 101. 
Although game developers have confirmed that the heavy gunship may have future plans in much later updates. It has one pilot seat, two passenger seats and two gunners by side on top. Layer 5, Net Launcher is based off the Piat. The Net Launcher is an anti-aircraft weapon that is given to crewmen. It has been theorized that the Net Launcher was based off the Piat which was a British anti-tank weapon. The Piat was designed in 1942 in response to the British Army's need for a more effective infantry anti-tank weapon and entered service in 1943. It looks extremely similar to the Net Launcher, Ohio manufactured Zeppelins in real life. The United States has been pretty much manufacturing all of their Zeppelins since World War I in Ohio and by Ohio companies. There are at least three blimps in Ohio. And this isn't fiction or theory, Ohio has actually been producing Zeppelins since World War I. The pirates are attacking the patrol base and raid so they can stop the production of Zeppelins. This theory refers that the pirates are invading the Ohio Air Patrol's base so they can stop the production of Zeppelins since they know that it's no good for them. Winner's Flag The Winner's Flag is a reskin of the flag weapon. Its icon features a black flag with a red and gold crown, though the actual flag used varies depending on the player. On February 17, 2020, the Winner's Flag was archived, but the change was later reverted four days after. This flag functions identically to its generic counterpart. It is awarded to clan members from clans which participated and won clan tournaments. 34 people from the Eternal Regiment and 13 from the Ace Patrol clan were awarded this flag, totaling to 47 people. The Prism. The Prism is a developer weapon made by Crimson underscore Knights, or Crom. It is rainbow as in the color keeps changing. The Prism fires lasers at a fast speed. Its lasers start out in a wide cone, then focus to become one large, destructive beam. It is capable of destroying an entire Zeppelin. The prism is based heavily off of the last prism from Terraria, especially with how its beams work. Turtle Isle sign can be used as a weapon. This refers to the going up sign from Turtle Isle. Unlike other melees, the sign is not available in the loadouts of both classes. You have to get it yourself in order to use it. To get the sign, you have to blow it up on Turtle Isle. By far the best way to obtain it is with a rocket plane, being able to blow up the sign with one round of all of its rockets. Ohio Delhi is pretty inland, so that wouldn't really explain that they're fighting pirates over large bodies of water. Unless, something like rising sea levels made oceans and rivers flood the town so only a few patches of land controlled by the military are being attacked by pirates who want it for themselves or want to stop the production of their zeppelins imperial germany zeppelins also get attacked by pirates in world war one on august 21, 1917 the zeppelin lz-66 also called l-23 was apparently captured by a norwegian pirate ship or they captured it on the Wikipedia it says that they captured the ship which leads to many theories. Raid Tunnels The Raid Tunnels are a group of tunnels within the harbor in the Raid game mode. A small portion of the tunnels are accessible through the hidden entrance on the right. The rest of the tunnels are blocked by the bars and the wall. The tunnels are also visible through the false entrance. Well that's it for today's iceberg, one correction I'd like to make is that the Crimson Sky refers to a Zeppelin Wars clan. The next iceberg I will probably cover up is the Titanic iceberg, till then, goodbye.